soem mika lusi mede <hesitation> leilong ngomblo teste minu na tingin deit <hesitation> robria mas kama blo julai parem mas end of june na end of june na vot miku tak na ngomblo blo teste in the rugged landscape of papua new guinea The name William Caprice echoed through the valleys, a tale of a man whose life unfolded like chapters in a gripping novel. Born on December 15, 1980, in West New Britain province, Caprice emerged from humble beginnings, the son of Nanua, an early settler in the region. His journey took an unexpected turn in 1996 when, as a bright student at Kimba High School, he converted to Islam. Sent overseas to study Islamic doctrines, the once shy young man transformed. However, this transformation wasn't only spiritual, it was marked by a dark descent into crime. The pages of Caprice's life turned ominous on January 10, 1997, when he was arrested for attempted murder and the gang rape of a young girl. Sentenced to 20 years for attempted murder and 5 years for rape, He escaped from Lakamata prison on April 19, 2001, beginning a series of audacious criminal exploits. The tale of Caprice includes a daring abduction in August 2001 and a subsequent arrest, followed by another escape from Lakiamata jail in 2002. His criminal endeavors reached new heights with the notorious metal refinery robbery in 2007 and alleged bank robberies in May and July 2008. The climax of his criminal saga occurred in 2010 when Caprice orchestrated a daring escape from Bomana Maximum Lockup, leading 11 hardcore prisoners to freedom. Recaptured a month later, he faced a 30-year sentence for the robbery of the Madang BSP Bank. Yet the narrative didn't end there. In 2013, Capris, along with accomplices, allegedly stabbed a fellow prisoner, and in a twist that mirrored his own escapes, he broke free from Bomana prison in May 2013. The final chapter unfolded on July 23, 2013, as Caprice was shot and died along the Hiritano Highway. From the quiet classrooms of Kimbi High School to the dark alleys of crime, William Caprice's life story is a complex tapestry woven with threads of transformation, escape, and tragedy in the rugged landscapes of Papua New Guinea.